Hi, this is Chris. Today I will show you how you can use actuators in Bluemix. I will build further on my application that monitor the temperature and light in my room, but this time I will publish a message on an MQTT broker and then on an internet thing I will pick that message up and show it on an LCD display. This video builds on my previous video called Internet of Things Use Sensor Data in Bluemix. So please check that out for details on how to use sensor data in Bluemix. In this video I will modify the Node-RED application to send the output message to another Arduino with an LCD display. To send messages to devices in Bluemix you have to register the device and to do that you need to sign up for the Internet of Things Foundation register your devices and also set up a real Internet of Things service. So to actually get this demo working as I'm showing it here you need two Arduinos one with the sensor and one with the display. The one with the sensor should use the code from my video Internet of Things published to Bluemix but note that you need to update the code to use the registered organization ID the client ID and the credentials. All the hardware that you need to perform this lab is the same as in my video Internet of Things Actuators. So please check that out for details. And here is the updated code. And make sure that you replace the 12 nines with the MAC address of the network card and also the org and auth token with the, with the right values. And after the initial includes, the MQTT client object is defined and created on lines 5 and 6. And the LCD screen object is created with the pin specified on line 7. In the setup, we define the LCD display size on line 12 and initialize the bridge on line 13. Then we connect the MQTT client to the server on line 14 and set up a subscription on line 15. The eternal loop simply makes sure that the MQTT object can handle the incoming messages on line 20. The callback function converts the message payload to a string on lines 25 to 26, extract the message on line 27 and show it on the LCD display on lines 28 to 29. Now, open your Node-RED application in Bluemix, remove any previous nodes, and import the below code. Make sure to replace the 12 zeros with the MAC address of the Arduino with sensors, and the 12 nines with the MAC address of the Arduino with the display. And you should see the above flow in the Node-RED flow editor. The thing that has changed from the previous video is that there is now an output node that publishes the resulting message to the MQTT broker. When you deploy the application by clicking the deploy button at the top right, you should start seeing messages appear on the LCD display. So that's how you can use actuators in Bluemix and send commands to your internet things. And with that, I wish you the best of luck with the Internet of Things projects. Thank you.